We started off with really basic components that you can learn how to use on Google and, and YouTube. I started cold calling schools. I didn't even have a website, a business card or even a proper business name. I didn't know that I was going to be a seaweed farmer. You're researching and talking about seaweed production but you never really knew it was me that was going to do it. I felt like there were problems in business and industry that were slowing me down, like too many protocols, too many pathways, too much risk aversion. When I started the business, it opened up a whole new dimension of learning and experiences around entrepreneurship and how you actually translate some of that research into, into business and into the real world to go and implement it. And that was really exciting. Branching out and starting your own company is, is not the norm for science. And in a country like Australia, there's some really good incentives to do it. Science can talk about how we should do things or the theory of what might happen if we do this but it's actually getting out there and doing it that will make the difference. I think the best part of my job is that when someone asks you what the typical day look like, it's so hard to answer. Um, and it's because it's so varied, which is so exciting. Working with people, leading teams, negotiating, technical knowledge, so product development, you know, legal. Whatever problem comes up that day, you've got to work out how to solve it. My advice to everybody is to find a niche that they love and find a way in which there's a pathway that they can actually see that becoming a skill or a job that they want to do in the future and apply themselves to that. So you've got to love what you do, even though you're challenged by it. And you've got to be challenged by what you love, otherwise life is very, very boring. In entrepreneurship, we talk about this concept called finding your tribe. If you're interested in something, there are a lot of other people in the world who are also interested in it too. It's super fun, you get to work with the, the person that you pick to work with and, and you get to work on something that's, that you get to direct how it goes. There's a lot of stories about you know, when you're in business or you're an entrepreneur that you've got to hustle and you know, you've got to be that big extroverted personality but you know, that's not me and I think if I can just be myself, if I'm genuine in my values and my behaviour then that can also allow me to thrive in this environment of being a business owner. When you can really see how much other people appreciate the work that you're putting in, just knowing that I'm making an impact and that I'm, I'm doing everything that I can to, to leave the world in a better place, it makes it all worth it.